Uh, it's going to be difficult for them if they lose on Coastline to go on to Clubhouse against Continuum and get that win. And then even more importantly, Cafe, again, a map that Continuum is historically, if you look really far back, have been proficient at. So if me got a lot of pressure on the shoulders right here, just to start things off. Upstairs will be where Infamy goes. And this is something that we've seen very uh, interestingly on Club, or sorry, on, on Coastline. I'm getting my maps mixed up, looking ahead a little bit too far to map number two. It's okay. Is that teams will like to pull out different sites on Coastline right away. We've seen a number of teams will start downstairs. Sunrise and Blue Bar, unsurprisingly, being a first site. Sometimes we'll see them go kitchen. This is what is up my coconut bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the badass match that happened between Continuum, I said that weird, I don't know why I said that so weird, between Continuum and Infamy, Infamy, I can't speak. What is up my coconut bras and take two, I already made a huge asshole in the floor so we're going to just continue on. Badass match, Continuum versus Infamy. And before we get into the first set of Valkyrie cams, I wanna point out how you used to be able to shoot out the floor completely and not only to create lines of sight, but it was kind of a gray area in the Pro League tips where as long as you're using it as lines of sight, then it's still okay to do. But it was weird because before, you couldn't plant the diffuser on parts of four that are broken out. But thankfully, they patched that, so just wanted to update you guys on that. You can now plant the diffuser even if the floor is shot out, which is a really good, really good thing. So we're going to be jumping into it. The first set of Valkyrie cameras, these are going to be two of the cameras while defending the theater and penthouse bomb sites. And now these ones are really cool because when you first start approaching these cameras, you're going to have to be taken off guard and well, not necessarily off guard. You're going to have to look up to them and basically leave yourself vulnerable to other lines of sight and other angles where you can get shot from. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, if I look at the camera directly, then it's pretty easy to see, but you guys are see that as I approach these cameras, that it's gonna leave me really vulnerable if I take the time to come up here and turn around and shoot them. I'm gonna be giving my back to the penthouse and specifically the theater bomb site places where there's gonna be a lot of people anchoring down. Now the second Valkyrie camera is gonna be over here in the Hall of Fame and this one's really cool because no matter how you enter it, it's gonna be up here tucked away in these little grates, gonna be very difficult to take out and really annoying and really good during those last few moments while you guys are looking at the bomb site. Yeah, just to touch quickly on what you were talking about earlier with this, uh, with Infamy, I, I would really tie them in with Most Wanted as being teams that have all right, now for our second spot, this is just gonna be a really quick one I just wanna touch base. And if you stand behind this little counter in the second floor penthouse, you can actually create a line of sight that's really nice that goes all the way down into the lobby. Now this is one of those lines of sight that yes, it's a line of sight, so obviously it's a two-way street. You can see it either way, but it's one of these kind of cool ones where if the attacker is standing in this exact area, you're gonna actually be able to see their feet without them being able to see you, just kind of based on where the lines of sight are going. Your line of sight is going down straight to his feet, and so if he's standing in this specific area looking back at you, all he's gonna see is the edge of the hatch and he's not gonna be able to see you. Really good spot to keep in mind next time you guys are anchoring down. Great grenade. I mean, it, BC, of course, being the guy who got that ace as Buck on Clubhouse, or excuse me, on Coastline last time we saw him here, I believe. Easily. Shotgun kill onto Young. And a little bit of fight back from Infamy. And there was a wonderful shot onto the Blackbeard. Now, if you remember, on this site in particular, what oh. is Beasley doing? He'll oh. take one, but BC finishes him off. A flurry as Infamy losing round one. CTM up one to nothing. And I was going to say, I don't know what he was doing with the <laughs> sledge there, but the ragdoll of Valkyrie uh. flying into the hallway. All right, so this next one is gonna be another really quick tip. Now this hiding spot has been out for a very long time. A lot of really cool YouTubers have posted clips of how useful this one can be. And I just wanted to point out that even in the current meta, as of today, in, the, in this game, this spot is still works to throw some guys off of guard. And so another spot to definitely check as an attacker and keep in mind if you're a defender. Positioning from Continuum, great timing from Continuum and poor both of those from Infamy on that round I all right now moving right along the next camera is gonna be a fast one over here in second floor penthouse 
This spot's really good because behind the bed is a really common place to plant the diffuser. Good spot to keep a lookout. Kind of evaporated almost. Yeah, and I think two, two key mistakes that Infamy made there. Number one, they applied zero pressure from below the site and number... All right, so the next quick Valkyrie camera is gonna be up here again in the second floor penthouse. And now inside of this wardrobe used to make a really good hiding spot back when the map first came out. But for now, we're gonna use this one as a Valkyrie camera, really good spot. If anybody's entering the penthouse, they're gonna have to look all the way over here. And a lot of times people will be anchoring down behind the couch. So just an overall good spot. Site and bill billiards is seen as I think the least likely to be defended commonly in pro league young first killed the round on easily through the mirror window it would see or no actually through the floor maybe oh the drop down wow a nice angle there through the wall and the drop down both to get that early kill onto the Thatcher I don't think easily was expecting that when he rotated between projector and master it's one of those deaths that just really gotta frustrate you exactly yeah. one of those things where you're like what, what where did i die from oh, oh okay yeah. i get it and that is look at that angle that young is holding that's a good shot and one of the things too about coast all right so this next spot is going to be coming from young of continuum now i almost wanted to make this spot one of the titles of this video but overall there were just so many awesome cameras i definitely wanted to make that one it but overall, this one is definitely one of the best spots and lines of sight I have ever seen. This one's so sneaky. Now, he's holding a line of sight all the way from service entrance. And not only from here is he going to be able to hold the lobby entrance as well as two entrances to his right and the bathroom. But from here, he shot out the hatch and made an insane angle all the way up here into the second floor penthouse going into the theater room and from upstairs this is such a difficult angle to hold i'm going to show you guys exactly where these bullets are going and so even though it's a little bit above head level that is because of the angle he's shooting from below me so that's going to be a very nice headshot and get dropped experience on this team overall because young has been on the team before he was one of the original founders and bc has been showing a canadian early frag there on a vertical Unfortunately, that's going to be the ash from Infamy lost early on in the round, and that does not... All right, so this is going to be a really good run out that you can do from Aquarium out onto Exit Balcony. Now, this is from a live game. The first clip, you'll see me running out and checking it, and then just seeing that there's nobody there and just throwing a camera. Now, this next spot, I knew it was coming, but the angle is just kind of difficult because the other person does have the high ground. So I was expecting it, and I was checking for spawn kills, but right here, I just he had the first shot. He knew exactly where I was going to be, and I knew it was coming, couldn't stop it, so good shot on him. However, it also, the winner of this match will qualify first out of the region, which means they will cinch a spot for the Invitational of this year. So the stakes are very much higher to sort of... All right, so this next one is going to be a really good camera over here in the lounge area. And this is going to be a good one if anybody is entering from the stock side of the room or even the garage or even over by the staircase. And so yet again, as you guys can see, if I'm looking at it from the stock room, going to be kind of a hard angle to see. And it's blue, so it kind of all blends in overall. Pretty good camera. Or it gets some buck action from above. So let's say, for example, you take the buck in the kitchen, you buck the floor out, you throw some smokes in from Jackal. Glaz can push up after he's used a couple of his smokes on the tunnel. You've now taken control of Armory and potentially Blue as well. And then you have Hibana to blow open the wall inside of church. All right, so our next camera over here on Clubhouse is going to also be coming from the stockroom. So what we saw was they them coming over here, mailing out a couple boxes, and then throwing a Valkyrie camera inside. Now what this is doing, this last box on the end here is still going to show up for them no matter what because that's where the spawn point is for the box. So the end of the balcony or the end of the bookshelf there's still going to be a box, and so this camera is going to be pretty well hidden. And then right here, I'm just going to melee out the sides of the box. So good cameras to kind of mess around with. A lot of times, you can get cameras inside of different objects, but I know they do currently show up differently for some people. But just a good camera to keep in mind next time you're playing Clubhouse. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video. I love you guys all. Be sure to let me know what you think down below. Check out the links down in the description. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace easily left as vertical no now upright young answers and it's all on vertical he'll go for one but nvk lays in wait finishes it off and ctm is back they will go to the invitational and they are your number one seed heading into sao paulo as they take clubhouse by a score of five to one in the series ten to two